Here My Hero Academia, Season 6, Episode 22. Two months from now, we didn't go and give some intel. They're meeting at a hidden mansion. I really don't know what to think about her chances of survival. Hawks did that whole rescue maneuver, but she also exploded from the inside out. He sent the other hunters after the target, too. Right, she's just the first of many. How many are we gonna encounter? This is the forest. Is this two months later? Just jumping right into it. But it could be a trap. I don't know, the whole laboratory adventure <laughs> scarred me forever. No idea what traps might be inside. Yeah, there you go. Man, best genus, always on it. I have to finish this while all for one and Shigaraki still aren't strong enough to steal one for all. Oh, I mean, he's not wrong, but he's looking pretty possessed right now. Izuku Midoriya. Uh-oh, <laughs> that was fast. You enjoyed your heart that unraveled heart really quickly. If you're seeing this, oh no, the condescending clap. <laughs> he acted of her own free will. He, 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 yeah, yeah, I guess so. People are quick to praise individualism. Those who don't fit in are ostracized. Democracy, socialism, yeah. All right. this prejudice exists across every idea. Damn. Every fight will wear at you until there's nothing left. Y yeah, <laughs> that seems like that's where this is going. How long was he preparing this philosophical monologue? And there's a trap. There's a trap. Best genius was right. As usual. What in the world? <laughs> I don't think Deku was expecting that. <laughs> I don't know what they were expecting, but probably wasn't a, a treatise on individualism and politics. All for one is like, what can I prepare for the incoming heroes? Killer robots, some Nomu. No, just, uh, you know, the most devious plan of all. Just read from my manifesto to a captive audience and condescending clapping. It's pretty cool, though, how All for One is right about a lot of it. I mean, his assessment of the problem is right, but I think his diagnosis of the solution is clearly wrong. And I think actually Deku is a clear avatar for why it's wrong and what the solution actually is. One of the most interesting points, I think, is the fact that to a certain extent, at least, not to say they're all the same, but there are certain problems that emerge despite any system because they're just human problems. The manners in which society organizes itself are later, you know, they're secondary to humanity itself. And so they have less strength, you know, they have less historical strength than just fundamental biological human existence and traits that have been battle tested and honed over hundreds of thousands, millions of years of evolution. And going even deeper than that are just universal truths about scarcity and the nature of the world, physical existence, etc. If you're trying to organize a whole world of people in a one one size fits all package, you're going to fail. There's going to be things that just don't fit and there are going to be complexities that arise that are impossible to eliminate. I mean, I think any controversial topic, any issue that's existed for the entirety of human existence exists for, for very good reason. It's not for nothing. It's not because of just something simple like human greed or selfishness or whatever. It means there's a fundamental problem that probably breaks down into two things that are actually beneficial in some stage, but enter into conflict. So for example, individual survival versus group survival. It's not always the same thing. What's best for the group is not always what's best for the individual and what's best for the individual is not always what's best for the group. Clearly, that problem will continue probably for all of human existence. People will use individualism in very careful and calculated ways that are kind of convenient. You know, it reminds me of the great dialogue in Metal Gear Solid 2 where the AI is criticizing humanity and they're talking about how we get all these conflicting messages like be kind and charitable to everyone, but also beat out the competition. You're special and can accomplish anything where it's clear that not everyone can get everything they want. There are a lot of slogans that get passed around and a lot of messages that get pass passed around, a lot of ideologies that get passed around that are nominally for the individual, but are actually for the, the group. So there's a little bit of sleight of hand going on there. But that doesn't mean that the focus on the individual is wrong or that the individual can't both be a fully realized individual and be for the group. Deku, to me, provides the answer because Deku, in this arc especially, is becoming very, very individually Deku, fully realized Deku. He's no longer bound by kind of the narratives of the hero society he grew up in and came to rely on. He's becoming fully himself, but despite facing setbacks, he's not going to be a villain. He's going to be the ultimate hero because he's going to face those setbacks and he's going to become who he really is. At the same time, he's going to be for the, the best interest of his society in an unidentified ideological way, just from a fully realized perspective. And I think critically from a place of truth, which means not taking easy answers, not relying on convenient half-truths to just make his job easier, that he, you know, he can sort of ignore some of the elements that are hard to deal with. He will take in all of it. That's part of his mission to get to know all the villains. And he will do the difficult work of taking on that burden, because it really is difficult. All for One is also right about it weighing on him, but he will emerge triumphant and he will be in a better position to do all of these things at once, you know, consider all of these factors at once and act heroically for the best interests of the people he cares about. That was an incredibly dense way to start this episode. Explosion. Any trace of the league burned with the mansion. I was making fun of him for reading his manifesto, and then I read mine. <laughs> Doc at Centro says she's still unconscious. From okay, I understand, good. Living. Hospital staff isn't gonna so live. sure she's managed to stay alive. She's living. We should share the secret of one for all in Midoriya with more heroes, not just this hand-picked group. It would allow for a more comprehensive Ooh, this is a really search. interesting idea. Bring the truth to the light. From here on out, if we want to find the league, our best bet is to lean on the boy. But you gotta take care of him, and you gotta not let him be so isolated, please. About two days ago, Death Arms threw in the towel. 
amount I of people constantly resigning. Fight citizens, and still they doubt my intentions. They yell at me, send me away. Yeah, definitely finding out who's who. One insult can overshadow ten cheers. That is so true. Turns out I'm not a hero after all. Just a human. Yeah, that's kind of a choice he's making. Not that I don't sympathize. Maybe give him some, some time off. I fear the fabric that makes up our hero network will soon be threadbare. The press is getting ever closer to figuring out who Deku is. I suspect the former heroes are leaking them information. Damn, it's one thing to resign, it's another thing to work against them and undermine them. If one for all is exposed, it could set off a chain reaction of negativity toward Midoriya. He's not in the room, is he? You should just ask him. Why doesn't All for One go public about the power himself? Sick the world on Midoriya, then take what he's after. It seems like the kind of thing he'd do. Yeah, that's if a good did, point. If he did, mobilize every hero in our ranks and hide Deku in isolation. The only way we can catch the League's scent is if Deku is roaming the streets. It's interesting. They're both playing the same game. It's like a game of chicken, using Deku as the pawn. Midoriya just made contact with another hired gun! And he defeated him. I was... Instantly. Ooh, that's... Wow, that's a dark look for his eyes. Over already? He had no useful information. Didn't even get it's to know his backstory? <laughs> Be careful. Bye. You haven't eaten, have you? Oh no. These support items are killing me. You don't have to follow me. Read between the lines, All Might. I'm fine. Daddy All Might, we need you. Dad Might. Now hold on just a minute. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. I'm fighting at a level comparable to you when you were at 100% and without any backlash. Don't you see? That's not what worries us. <laughs> That's not what worries me. It's not your physical ability. You're trying to protect me. To keep me from getting caught up in your fated mission as my successor. Not like this, man. This don't is not the... Don't me for approval anymore, do you? Yeah, I mean, this is a long time coming. You don't have to worry. <laughs> I don't think this is going to sit right with All Might, though. This is not the person. This is not the guy who's going to let someone else sacrifice alone. He may not have his full powers. No way he doesn't go plus ultra to the best of his ability to support Deku. And I don't think it's Lunchbox support, although that's very welcome as well. I get it! I know what a heavy burden this is to carry alone! He's been there. Which is why I want to scream at you! Do it! Don't work too hard! It's okay to take a break when you're tired! Oh, but that would be kind of hypocritical, wouldn't it? Oh no, the bento! No! And it looks so good! That tonkatsu representing our broken spirit, wet and on the floor. I heard he can use a bunch of different powers. What the hell? Isn't that what all for Insane. One Legend is growing. He could be a no moon. It's not all positive, it's kind of fearful. I heard that he doesn't look anything like a hero. He's always covered in dirt and blood. It's scary. And a dark aura. Maybe put the black whips away for a second. Burn out now and we're doomed to fail. I don't need to rest yet. I'm fine. I don't know. You can tell yourself this for as long as you the villains have any you want. More time to prepare. If it's gonna happen, it happens. If you're gonna burn out, you burn out. No reasoning with it. It's not the time to push your posture. Everyone's growing concerned. Honestly, I feel like it would go a really long way just to like have an open line of communication. I, like he's not someone that should be alone. I mean, I know that the burden here is the fact that he's just pushing his body to the limits and he has a lot of responsibility more than he asked for. He was thrown, thrown into the situation. His life's in danger. That's the bulk of it, right? But I think all that aside, Deku is naturally a people person and he does best and thrives with others. He needs to be in some kind of constant communication with a social group. I feel like the isolation is one of the key factors in this decline. I would never compare this situation to my life because of the stakes, but if I'm trying to connect it at all to my life, I would say that it's kind of counterintuitive, like the times I'm most drained when you compare it to the amount of work I have. It's not a one-to-one -one correlation. I mean, there was a time in my life where I had three jobs, was unbelievably sleep deprived, had a lot of pressure, but I remember it as being one of the best times of my life. But the reason for that was that I had really, really excellent social interactions at all of my occupations. And so my life was so rich, it gave me strength and energy in itself. And there have been times where I've been pretty comfortable, you know, but I haven't had that same kind of support and the work seems impossible. There's a lot of intangibles in it. You can't sit idly by and wait for aid. Certainly not under these circumstances. That's part of one for all. It's part of having all of us in his head. He really has become All Might in a sense, in a very key sense. There is one thing Izuku Midoriya needs more than anything else right now. This was my one of my complaints about All Might, but also one of the things that's hard to really criticize him for. You know, the taking everything on his own shoulders. It's cl clearly not good, but also you understand why. Do you belong to him? All for one? Of course not. No. He's scaring people. This is terrifying. It's terrible. It's so sad for like our sweet, lovable Deku. I won't let them harm anyone else. Which means now, it's your turn. In this state, I feel like he's just one step away from doing something wrong. 
you know, making a misstep. In order for everyone to but I have faith in him overall. Like they did before. In order to smile with the people I care about. Yeah, right, right. But I really feel like he needs to be with those people that he cares about. That's part of it. You wish to fight alone. So you're exhausted. Some kind of puppet master. You're exactly the raging ball of fatigue he said you would be. There's power in numbers. Oh, uh, involving innocent civilians. Oh, you are up for a fight. What fun. I was hoping for action. Yeah, of course, he's going to use them as shields. By smashing these ignorant fools. My body. Oh, and they're conscious, too. In front of the statue, too. I just need a second. <laughs> he's going under. Or two. Damn it! Armor pierced. There we go. That's exactly what we need right now. Thank you. Mako showed a lot of strength, not just annihilating all those civilians. needs more than anything else right now. Friends. That's what I'm saying. Friends. That's the name of the episode. About time. Yeah, it's perfect. There we go. And Bakugo is such a perfect one, too. Really? You think so? Yes, I do. <laughs> I definitely do think so. Uraraka. I called multiple times. At no point did Hawks ever answer his phone. Denim face either. Same with my father. Wow. They're busy, sure, but this is still odd. Well, they're trying to keep them safe. But yeah, these kids are not ones to sit around idly, as I've been saying. I may not know Endeavor very well, but I know Deku. And I've got a good read on All Might, too. I promise. This is the worst case scenario. Then we need to figure out how to contact Midori and help him out! It's always amazing to me how Baku ends up being one of the most insightful people, despite his stern and quiet ex exterior. Let's get some answers. Damn. Okay. All right, Araka. I'm sure that sounded like a smart move. And maybe with someone else, it'd be a good idea. But you missed something. You don't know, Deku. Mm-hmm. Exactly. He never considers his own well-being. He just says he's fine. That type of thinking is... Damn, what look at their faces, too. Peace. Something terrible is gonna happen if you let them do this alone! Yeah, and I, I also get why they don't want to get the students involved. They don't want to have Deku involved. It's just that they feel like they have no choice because he's the target. He's key to fighting all for one. But implicit in this whole operation is them asking Deku to bear this burden. And because he's Deku, he's taking it on. But I think if, if that's where you are, if you're at the point where you're in a situation so bad that you have to just let people make their own decisions and do difficult things, then you can extend that same thing to the class. I think they've earned it. I think they've earned the right to choose despite their age, just as Deku has. Let them make that choice for themselves and i think we all know what choice they would make hold up is that gps tracking deku <sighs> they all just went for it i need to borrow this sorry sir i know i'm just a guy who randomly ended up in midoriya's class but i want to help me too invisible girl made a dive too they look so adult now knowing that someone we care about is walking a treacherous path means we can't look to the future with a smile The streets are too dangerous. But they know. They know what's in store for them. He's right. This is our hero academy. Our hero academia. All Might grew up in this school too, and we survived. Go ahead, students. Bring your classmate back. Oh, they're all here. Hell yeah. Not a single one of them. Stay behind. I don't understand. Why are you here? Duh. Because we're worried about you. That's nice, but I promise I'm fine. Shut up. <laughs> in order to smile, for everyone to live in peace, I have to go. Don't let him leave this area. Sticky balls, tape. My way. No, You're no, You're gonna no. have to make us. You busted ass all my wannabe. We had a feeling that's what you were going to say. <laughs> my hair could be a civil war. Give him a little, he deserves a little roughing up for that one. That is going to be the most wholesome battle. <laughs> I can't wait. I mean, he probably could overpower them if he were alright. You know, if he were at peak condition, physically and mentally. And also if he had the will. I mean, I think they have more will right now to stop him. Get a hold of him. Help him get to his senses than, than he does to fight them. Wow, this show, this episode, it did so many things so amazingly. It's just so great how season 6 is just hit after hit. This has been a long time coming. I think my favorite part of this whole thing is that for so long, it was, I think, apparent that All Might, as beautiful, wonderful, 
amazing, heroic, special as he was, had a fatal flaw. And it's the fatal flaw that Deku has inherited. You know, Deku is becoming All Might, and not just in, in the best ways, but also in his faults. There was a very clear parallel to what All Might has done that was depicted in this episode, you know. I got it, I'm fine. That's All Might, you know, despite declining health and knowing his power was coming to an end, knowing he could die at any moment, gave the, the impression that everything was okay. He's the ultimate smile-on-your-face hero. Deku just picked that right up like a sponge. But I've been saying for a long time that the number one hero thing is going to be subverted a little bit. The rankings might stay, you know, whatever. But this singular focus, you know, one person can do everything alone and solve all of your problems, so don't you don't have to worry, everything's fine. Which is related to the villain thing too, right? Because let's just sweep all the undesirable elements of society under the rug so no one can see them. Let's put on this facade. It's just all not working. A more robust plan, strategy, that will work better, I think, not just for each person, but for society as a whole, is every single person pulling their weight and being heroic in the ways they can to the extent of their ability. The number one hero thing, it's not going to be Deku alone. It's going to be Deku with his classmates and the heroes that remain after this, and by extension, all of society. That's the antidote, I think. That's the solution. It's not looking to this powerful force, whether that be a hero, whether that be society itself or some kind of established system that uses individualism when it's convenient as sort of a, a narrative that, that plays into an established but limited system. And instead, it's going to be every person being maximized to their fullest potential in alignment with truth and what things actually are, forming a web that is much greater than the sum of its parts. And that's, I think, the significance of the kids showing up. They can play their part too. You know, they're also heroes. No question about it. And like I said, I think they deserve to make that choice for themselves. They're not going into this with ignorance. I mean, look at the movies, right? The things they've been through is insane. They've battled, they've bled, they've seen death. They know the power of Shigaraki and all for one. They're under no illusions about what this means. They can't just be sitting around idly if they don't want to. It's not fair. Give them the chance to be what they can be.